it's Steph, thanks for clicking. This is my second update to Projects and Panning, a Dungeons and Dragons project pan. This was created by Ali of Wonder in Ali Land. It started on October 15th and it lasts a full year. This project is modeled after Dungeons and Dragons and Ali did a great job of simplifying that game. There are just five easy steps. You have a prompt for your character's race, a prompt for their class, there is a location, you have a monster or something that you're encountering, and then you have a wondrous item. I am choosing my prompts randomly, and the way I am choosing my usage goals is a little bit odd. It's modeled after the actual Dungeons and Dragons game. You can choose your goals however you want. I am also telling a story to go along with my panning journey. This isn't part of the project rules either, I just thought it would be fun. And I understand that a beautiful mess is now doing that as well. I think it's going to be really cool to see how different our stories are going to end up being at the end whenever we're pulling from the same list of prompts. When my story started, I had a halfling rogue, Elias Reedgrove, and he went into the Forbidden Forest because his daughter Orani was kidnapped and she was taken as tribute for the dragon Tiamat. Elias had to sneak past Tiamat. He had some help with the Deck of Illusions and he was able to rescue Orani. Orani wasn't alone. She had a fellow captive, and this captive was an elven bard named Lorafine Nightflower. Lorafine, Elias, and Orani were all fleeing from Tiamat and her dragons. They were seen by one of Tiamat's dragon guards. Lorafine was unarmed as she was held captive. She managed to steal a Bloodwell vial before she left, but since that's only meant for sorcerers, it doesn't help her too much. She managed to borrow a dagger from Elias, and they're trying to fight this dragon as they're fleeing through the forest. So we'll see if they've managed to escape the dragon yet. For the first prompt, my character's race is elf, and that is something that's a pen style product, something permanent. Mine's more of a quill. It's the Aesthetica liquid eyeliner in the shade black. My goal was to use this 10 times. So far I've used it six times, and I've never used an eyeliner in this style before. It has that felt tip, and I'm still getting used to it. I'm having some difficulty doing that. Whenever I try to use this, it does have a tendency to drip down. Whenever I put it on my upper lash line, it ends up either on my lower lash line or even like in my tear duct area. It doesn't burn or anything, but that's still not where I want it. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to use it because it still does that even when I try to get the excess off on the sides of the container. Next is Laura Fiend's class and she's a bard. A bard is a music themed item. And I've been using this Natasha Denona eyeshadow. It's a single sample from the I Need a Nude palette, and the shade name is Muse. I had the goal to use this 16 times. So far I've used it 7 times, so I'm still working on Bard as well. And that works out just fine because you have to have the race and class go in and out at the same time because they describe the character. Next is the location. That's the Forbidden Forest, and that is a green item. I've been using this Exa Beauty Green Color Correcting Concealer, Concealing Redness. My goal was to use this 12 times, and I've done that now. I think I had 9 uses at the last update, but I did make a goal of 12, which means that our party gets to escape the Forbidden Forest. And they were unfortunate enough to be facing off against a dragon. Dragon is a large item, and I have this very large shampoo. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Shampoo with keratin. My goal is to use this 17 times. So far I've used it 9 times, so I'm still working on the dragon as well. So they haven't yet managed to slay it. And then you have the wondrous item, which is the Bloodwell Vial. That's something that a sorcerer uses to become more powerful, and it's something red. So I've been using this red lip crayon. My goal is to use it 10 times. So far I've used it twice. So Laura Fiend's still not sure what she's going to do with this Bloodwell Vial that she stole simply because it felt wrong and she felt Tiamat shouldn't be allowed to have it. Laura Fiend Nightflower, the Elven Bard, and Elias Reedgrove are both fighting this dragon. And meanwhile, Orani has managed to find an escape route. Orani manages to lead them out of the Forbidden Forest, despite the fact that Lorafine and Elias are still battling the dragon, and she manages to bring them into the Abandoned Mine. The Abandoned Mine is a mineral-themed item, and I'm using this Au Naturale Cream Shadow in the shade White Quartz. With the locations, I'm basing the usage goals off of the character speeds. So a standard speed is 30. The two halfling characters, however, Elias and Orani, are smaller and therefore it takes them longer to travel distances. So instead of my standard usage goal of 10 on this, it's going to be 12 uses in order to meet my goal on the abandoned mine. While the dragon is not able to fit through the mine entrance, 
it is still able to attack them from outside. So Lorikin and Elias are still battling this dragon. Hopefully next time they'll be able to defeat it. Lorikin hasn't yet had a chance to think about what she's really going to do with this Bloodwell vial that she's now stolen from Tiamat. Whatever the case is, next month we'll get to find out if I meet my goal on Lorikin both the elf and bard proms, which would give them some help, it would add a new character to the party. They may or may not be able to get out of the abandoned mine, and hopefully they will be able to defeat this dragon. At this point, they're getting pretty exhausted and bloodied up. Maybe once they manage to exit combat, Laura Fiend's going to have a chance to figure out what she's going to do with this bloodwell vial that she stole. Maybe she'll find a sorcerer she trusts to hand it off to, or maybe she'll simply destroy it. In either case, she should come up with a plan before Tiamat gets upset that it's missing. Thank you for joining my quest, and come back next month to find out what happens with our heroes. Bye.